Hey y'all, so what I got here in front of me is a carry. Carry mango and yeah, it got hit hard. Um, this was actually one that I put in the ground in fall of last year. It's still a little small and I have this thing that I don't uh, like keeping mango trees in containers, even though I should and I keep saying I'm going to just keep them in containers and I can move them around and anyway it's in the ground and this is what happened to it this side of my yard is actually one of the colder sides and I did cover it and they get covered with frost cloth but the frost cloth by itself will not protect it when temperatures go down below a certain uh, temperature so if I do cover it in the future um, it will be with frost cloth plastic and I will put some type of heating source to protect it as well. May it be a light. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I'm also thinking I might pull it out of the ground and put them back into containers, which is what I should have did and just left it in the container. But uh, it depends how it's going to grow. If it grows nicely, then I'll leave it in the ground. Um and just make sure to cover it well come winter um we'll see later on in the year i'll decide if i'm going to pull it out and keep it in a container but anyway what i wanted to show you was um to help you guys decide how to trim you know those of you that are new and don't know what to do once your tree got fried cold by the cold like this then i'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of an idea this branch here look at it all brown that branch is dead and i'm gonna cut it here so that you can see there is no green it's dead it's brown that's not good and if you look at these branches this one has a little bit of green on it the tip is pretty much dead and this branch is only this point and this point here where it would grow if it was to grow. Now this branch looks not too promising. So it's coming off. This branch, look at it, it's dried and wilted, it's dead. This one is brown, some green on it, and there's some green on the tip, but if you look at it, it's shriveled. That's done. So as far as I'm concerned, this whole top section is pretty much done. So, off it comes. You look at that tip, you see how it looks now. It's not green. It's a little slight green, but it's not a healthy green. And you're gonna find when you cut some of these, they're gonna be green and they'll have that brown ring. The brown ring is really not good. I mean, it may push growth there. It may kind of recover a little bit, but that growth that comes out of there will never be uh, ideal. It'll be sickly. It'll be, you know, straggly. It won't be a, a strong, thick growth, a, a healthy looking growth. So unfortunately, <clears throat> you want to kind of look at it and see if you see any green buds protruding on the side there might be some new growth coming but i'm not seeing anything on this one now this is brownish that's not good this part here is green and it's probably good there what i'm gonna do is just tip it down here it still looks brown it doesn't look ideal but there's a green bud there so I'm optimistic that it will grow from this bottom part. You want to always make sure that it's growing above the graph point. This here is the graph point right here. So anything below this point is rootstock. You want to, want to always make sure to take that off. But here, this looks good. This looks good, it looks promising. I'm seeing some buds over here, a little protrusion, new growth coming. So I'm pretty sure that that's going to come up. And let's see where else on the branch that'll grow. But when you see that brown, 
that's not good. So over this section is probably not good. There's probably gonna be a little die back that's gonna keep going down. But this looks promising, and that looks like that's gonna be where it's gonna grow from. But otherwise, this is all green. This is all good. So this is still good. You know, if you want, you can even cut it down here, and then you'll get that spreading growth. But I'm I don't want to bring it down so low. So I'm gonna try to let it leave this and hopefully this is where it's gonna come out from all right guys so hopefully yeah not good you guys see it and it looks green on the outside but you can see it's not that green it's kind of dry it's got that brown so this has die back on this piece here and eventually that black will go down and down I'll keep working its way down um so I cut it here and what I'm gonna do so that it dries up nicely I'll take cinnamon rub it on the cinnamon helps to dry it out and it also gives it antifungal properties so it doesn't get you know any kind of fungal issues going on and it also helps against that um, that die back that you see in the branches I've noticed that it kind of helps it dries it up and it kind of stops the dry back right in this little section instead of it you know keep going down like that so anyway hope you guys found this interesting um right now I'm, I'm in the processing of cutting back a lot of trees even though i did cover them with the frost cloth um that just wasn't enough we did get temperatures i think uh the temperature probably back here in my yard probably got down to 28 29 Fortunately, I didn't have my thermometer set up in my yard, so I didn't know what the actual temperature is. Um, I think the weather app said it was like 32 or something, but um, my yard usually goes down about four or five degrees lower than what is, you know, being shown on the weather apps. Um, only because of my my climate, my microclimate, it's not a, it's not conducive. To these mango trees it's not really helpful i have no trees like in my neighbor's yard no canopy around me except what i have growing and um you know so the cold winds they just come sweeping through here and the cold just devastates my my trees whenever it goes to 32 degrees in that area anyway guys i don't want to make this too long you guys take it easy so if you guys have mango trees that got uh, died back, just look, look and check, look for the green uh, where you start seeing that green brown tip. Look at, you know, tip it and check the inside. Go as far back as you have to, till you see some nice green inside. You know, it might have a little brown, that's good, but just cut it back to as far down as you have to. These nodes here are a good place to cut it back those knuckles because that's where you get a bunch of branching coming out so if you cut it there you're going to get a lot of branches if you cut it somewhere up here you'll get like less branching but there'll be thicker stronger branches that'll come out of these side um, points over here okay so if you cut it up here you're going to get thicker stronger branches up here if you cut it down here you're going to get more branches but they'll be smaller not quite as thick and you'll get a bushy canopy if that's what you're looking for all right guys so i've been on too long you guys take it easy orlando backyard gardening signing off y'all take care bye bye